So Sunday was the longest day ever. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. and slowly got ready, put on my I don't do morning sock and my warm boots, and then headed out into the pitch black morning. We refer to this time in the morning as Jason Doring Early, because that is the only reason I would be getting up at 4.30 in the morning and heading to Los Angeles by 5.30 was to possibly be seeing Jason Doring at the annual Say No to Drugs race. It was the fifth year that I've gotten together with friends to go, and so it's become this tradition of waking up when it's dark and meeting up really early in the morning to watch people who are crazy go run 10 kilometers. But at least the sunrise is pretty. So I picked up Elena and we headed over to Universal Studios where the race was going to be again, listening to Dr. Noise's short story CD, which Elena had brought along because I still don't have mine in the mail, and watching the sun try to rise still. We went and found the stairs to get downstairs because the elevators are always crazy busy, and walked out to the big open space where they had all the booths and all the people were warming up and getting ready to do their race. And well, Jason Doring wasn't there this year. It was very sad and disappointing, but uh, it was still fun to see people that we've been meeting up with for years now. And my homegirl Jen is the only one who will do the warm-up with me. Everyone else thinks we're dorky. But it's fun to warm up even though we're just standing around and not actually going to be running. So we did some people watching and then watched the race start. And then we kind of all left. Oh, but before we left, actually, we were all standing around talking, and the blood drive people came over and were like, you guys going to come donate blood? And uh, most of us were like, um, no. Except Elena, who was like, sure, I'll go donate blood. So she went and filled out the paperwork and got her snack and went inside and then couldn't donate blood because she got a tattoo like eight months ago. So that was sad for her. She really wanted to donate. So after abandoning the Jason doring race, we all headed out to breakfast at the House of Pies, where they are oh so clever. So we had delicious breakfast, and then we all split up and went our separate ways. Elena and I went to see Tangled at the movie theater, and it was very cute. And Elena was a magical claw machine worker and won this ball. And then as we were leaving, we saw that the giant tree out in the walkway had a tunnel, and you could walk through it. So of course, we walked through the tree. Then it was off to Elena's apartment to hang out for a few hours, because we had plans later in the evening. So we messed around on our computers and watched a comedian, and Elena worked on my Jane hat that she's knitting me, because she's the best friend ever. And then later that night, we headed out to see the Thrilling Adventure Hour. So we waited in the drizzly rain for a little while, then went and got our tickets, and then we all walked to get food in the rain, walked back to the show... The group we were hanging out with was brought together for their love of Nathan Fillion, and he happened to be a guest star in the the Thrilling Adventure Hour this week, so that's why we were all there. It was fun, as always, and then we waited around in the rain some more, hoping to catch him to say hi and take pictures, but apparently he had already left, so that was a bit of a disappointment. As we were walking back to the parking garage where I had parked, it was like pouring rain. I don't know how we ever managed to find my car in the parking garage. So crowded. Some of us got there at a more leisurely pace than others. So I took Elena home, and then I drove off into the rainy, dark night. By the time I got home, it was 12.30 in the morning. So I grabbed my pajamas and got ready for bed and went to sleep 20 hours after I had gotten up that morning. It was a really long day.